Hello mermaids and barnacle boys, this is Sponge Drew Water Filter here, and welcome back to another video. Today we are going to be doing something a little special this time. So you remember, you know, like a week, or like a, not really a week ago, but like a few days ago, I did, you know, a book review of Spongebob Movie Pants by the Nick Zone? Well, what do you know? I got another one. But this one is based off of the Spongebob Squarepants movie the first one that came out in november of 2004 uh you know funny story how i mentioned like you know the book i got a uh, movie pants but let me get it real quick well, let me just you know show you if you haven't seen you know that video yet i recommend you know watching it because you know it's pretty good but you know literally like, this one isn't based off of, you know, this movie. This one came out, you know, like, in September of 2003. You know, I was saying stuff that was like, Oh, you, you know, uh, I thought, you know, when I saw this book, that I thought it would be, you know, the first movie where they go and rescue uh, Neptune's crown that when Python said to show Steve. Blah, 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 blah. Well, lately, the day that this arrived at my house, I went on eBay that evening later on that night and uh looked to see if there were any other books and i saw you know like i believe it was the same seller different seller from ebay was selling this book and uh we you know like my mom you know obviously she has an ebay account i don't because you know probably for a good reason because i'll probably be buying a whole bunch of spongebob stuff and you know my money would just go down the drain so you know she hired it for our watch list you know offer sent the seller sent like an offer and you know we bought it at a good price and all of that so i got this i got this less than you know ten dollars which you know is a pretty good deal if you ask me oh man that was a mouthful for me you know take a little water break here but yeah, with that being said, let's, you know, look at the book really quick. So obviously we have, you know, the Nick Zone right here, the Spongebob movie logo on top. We got Spongebob Patrick inside the Crusty Crab with, you know, like a screen right here. The two of them, the Patty Mobile, are we there yet? And Scholastics. On the back, you got the Sponge, the classic Spongebob logo we know of. Take the world's tiniest villain Add two unlikely heroes and a sandwich on wheels, and what, and um, and what have you got? The SpongeBob SquarePants movie, and we can see SpongeBob and Patrick right here with their you know, manly mustaches. Right here, this edition is available for distribution through the direct to home market. So yeah, with that really out of the way, let's get on you know to reading the story. Now I have actually read this before you know making this video and it's actually you know quite silly in a way see first page spongebob and patrick here with a nice little you know like pattern design are we there yet by kitty frost illustrated by greg schneigel still can't pronounce that name and as you can see right here this came out in two in November of 2004, the same year month the first movie. You can see all the chapters right here. So <clears throat> let me just get, <clears throat> let me get all right. Let's get reading. Chapter one: A Tale of Two Heroes. It's showtime, SpongeBob Squarepants declared as he strode into the Krusty Krab. Yeah, I can't wait for my part, Patrick Starr, SpongeBob's be best friend, cheered. Yep, it's a big night, Pat, said SpongeBob, nodding gravely. Tonight, we tell the world about our epic man quest. He walked over to the order microphone and turned up the volume full blast. Your attention, please, Spongebob said. We're thrilled that so many of you showed up for our little presentation. Presentation, a fish asked. I'm here for the free food. Where's my Krabby Patty sample? Mr. Krabs' boss leaned into the microphone, coming right up just as soon as the show is over. Okay, if we start our program now, said Spongebob said, 
We should be ready to take your questions in six or seven hours tops. Several customers ran for the door. Scorpio tentacles groaned. Mr. Krabs, he whispered. Why are you encouraging this? Well, Mr. Squidward, the boys did save me life, Mr. Krabs replied. Besides, this audience is going to need plenty of food and coffee to stay awake. With me special dinner theater rate, I'll make a fortune. Let us begin our story, SpongeBob said dramatically. Patrick, please distribute the handouts so that our audience can follow along. SpongeBob appeared intensely at the audience and then shouted, Lights, cue, projector, slide number one. Chapter two, evil doings a brewing. The room went dark. The projector hummed to life. SpongeBob began to tell the story of his great adventure. Ever since I was a little spongelet, I've known I was destined for glory. And then one day, it seemed as, as if all my dreams were coming true. Yeah, let me just put it right there. There we go. After four, 347 consecutive Play of the Month awards, I was going to be manager of the brand new Krusty Krab 2. Or so, I thought. But Mr. Krabs and his all-knowing knowledge, no, knowledge, uh, ugh, wow, I can't read, <laughs> knowledge, had other plans. He wasn't looking for childlike enthusiasm, you know, youthful energy, or, or boyish good looks. He had his sights set on maturity, and so he gave the promotion to Squidward instead. Of course, I took the news with my usual grace. SpongeBob flipped on the lights. While we were busy at the Goofy Goober, evil doings were a brewing at the Chum Bucket. Please direct your attention to the monitor now for what I like to call Exhibit A, Observe. A grainy image filled the, filled the TV screen and Plankton's voice, voice boomed from the speakers. Time to put Plan C into effect. SpongeBob's, SpongeBob nodded knowingly. That's right, folks. Plankton was up to his old tricks. We don't know exactly what happened next, but we have a pretty good idea. So we've created a little reenactment to bring it all to the, all to life for you, Patrick, if you will. Patrick stepped forward. Hello, my name is Plankton, he read woodenly. I have a plan to rule the world. I will s steal Neptune's crown. I will sell it to Shell City and frame Eugene Krabs. Then the secret form for the Krabby Patty will be mine. I am an evil genius. Thank you. Chapter 3. You don't need a license to drive a sandwich. Oh my folks. Didn't that just gave you goosebumps? SpongeBob squeaked into the microphone. Another goof of fish hurled towards the exit. Unaware, SpongeBob flips, flipped the lights off and continued. King Neptune was sh sure was mad when he discovered his crown had been stolen. Truth is, King Neptune is a little sensitive about his uh, thinning hair. Neptune believed Plankton's lie and thought Mr. Krabs was the theft. So someone had to go to Shell City and bring King Neptune's crown back. Or Mr. Krabs was toast. Burnt toast. Luckily, I just knew the sponge for the job. Neptune gave, gave me just ten days to get there and back. Then my good buddy Pat offered to join me and he even bargained for the time with King Neptune. And wouldn't, and wouldn't you know, he got old Neptune down for ten days to six. King Neptune's daughter, Mindy, warned us about the crooks, killers, monsters, and the giant cyclops that stood between us and victory. She told us about the poisonous gas in Shell City. And she even gave us a magical bag of winds to help us get back home with the crown. 
It was going to be dangerous. It was going to be scary. It was going to be separate. It was going to separate the men from the boys. But Patrick and I were fearless. We hopped in the paddy wagon and headed for the border. Some people didn't believe a couple of kids like us would stand a chance in the big bad world. But boy, did we prove them wrong. Sure, a big tough dude stole our wheels. And sure, Plankton sent a meanie hit man guy named Dennis after us. But luck was still on our side. We soon found the paddy wagon parked outside of this picture esque neighborhood tavern. All we all we had to do was retrieve Arkery. The problem was how? The locals didn't look too friendly. Well, you know how it is when you've got a problem to solve and a soap dispenser catches your eye. One bubble led to another. Before we knew it, we had a full blown bubble party on our hands. Turns out the locals didn't really care for bubbles. There was just no pleasing some folks, I guess. It all worked out just fine, though. In uh, uh, let me read it again. It all worked. Ju it all worked out just fine, though. And all the ruckus, pack Patrick managed to grab the key, and we were back in business. Chapter four, and the and the award for most pointless award goes to. Suddenly, there was a... Suddenly, there came a horror's whisper from Patrick. Spongebob, now is it time for the award? Well, okay, Pat, Spongebob replied. Spongebob snapped on the lights, and Patrick stepped up to the microphone. Uh, I'm here to present a special award, he said. The coolest future... Marge of the Sea and Overall Hottie Award goes to Princess Mindy. There was a scattering of confused applause as an image of King Neptune's daughter appeared on the monitor. Thank you, Patrick, Mindy said. I'm sorry I couldn't be there in person to accept this really unusual award, but thanks for saving the world and everything. You guys are great. Woo! You rock my world, Mindy, Patrick screamed at the top of his lungs. But the Mara had already fade to static. Everyone else doesn't seem too pleased about that. Hey, what was the point of that? Someone, the aliens grumbled. I had no idea, another fish replied. But if I don't get my free crab pay soon, I'm out of here. Mr. Krabs bustled over to the microphone. I've got fresh coffee, he announced. Who's ready for a refill? A sea of hands shot up and Mr. Krabs eagerly began pouring. That would be nine dollars each, he said cheerily. Chapter 5. From Boys to Men and Back Again. Spongebob st stepped back up to the microphone. Now, back to our story. Hey, you're all following along in your handouts, right? A few fish ruffled suddenly through their paper packets. Spongebob continued. Mindy was right. The road to Chelsea is paved with dangers. Now we'll just go to right here. Like muscle-bound bar bullies, sweet little old ice cream ladies who turn into vicious predators, and some and some third, even more dangerous thing that I couldn't even, can't think of right now. We almost gave up hope when we got to the got to this deep, dark, dangerous, infest, monster-infested trench. But just we were ready to turn around and go back home like a couple kids, Mindy showed up and used her mermaid magic to give us the, the courage of men. With the power of our manly mustaches, we were unstoppable. Giant crabs and hideous sea monsters were no match for us. Then on the outskirts of Chelsea, things got really exciting. First, Dennis, the hitman, found us and ripped our mustaches off. And then, just as he was about to stomp us, he got stomped himself by the evil 
Cyclops. Words, words can't describe what happened then, which is why I've asked Patrick to handle the next part of the presentation. Patrick stepped forward. Okay, well, this is us getting snatched up by the Cyclops, he said. And this is us up, and this is us waking up in a scary poison gas filled tank of death. Patrick flipped to a new page. Now this is the part where I defeat the Cyclops and then Mindy showed, shows up and gives her and gives me her phone number. Patrick, SpongeBob hissed. That's not that didn't happen. Patrick shrugged. You tell your part your way. I tell I tell my part mine. Chap Chapter six A Hero's Not a hero's not just a sandwich. Boys, Miss Crab's broken. You're losing me customer customers, I mean your audience. Maybe you should skip to the end. But this is the best part, SpongeBob gas. This is the part where we realized that we actually made it to show City after all. And then the sea creatures came back to life and battled the Cyclops, and then we grabbed ne Neptune's crown and ran for the dock. We where we lost Mindy's bag of winds. I know, SpongeBob, but Mr. Krabs interrupted, and then the friendly lifeguard gave us a ride back to Bikini Bottom, and then it reappeared. But we fought him off and returned the crown to Neptune, only to discover that Plankton had enslaved everyone as evil chum bucket helmets and turned everyone against us. The, the unstoppable SpongeBob continued, and then we saved the sea with the power of rock and roll, and Plankton went to jail, and I got. To be manager after all, SpongeBob concluded, finally stopping to breath. Well, I'm out of breath, too. Yes, it's a good story, laddie, Mr. Krabs said consolingly. Consolingly. Wow, these words are difficult. Anyway, but sleeping customers are bad for business. I think your fans may be ready for a little break. Mr. Cla Mr. Krabs cleared his throat. All right, folks, the show is over. Time for free samples. He held, he held up a tray of six minuscule Krabby Patties. That's all the free samples? An angry fish asked in disbelief. Now don't be shy. Take, step right up and take one, Mr. Krabs urged. Like the sign says, while supplies last, the audience leaped to its feet and stomped towards the door. A few lucky fish grabbed tiny patties as they passed. Gee, I guess everyone had a bust catch, Patrick said. But what about the Q&A and the f photo op, SpongeBob whispered. Don't worry, SpongeBob, Miss Krabs said soothingly. We're all grateful to you. You don't, you did okay for a knucklehead mixed spazaton. Now don't forget to clean up before you leave. SpongeBob manager pants. Mr. Krabs winked, gave SpongeBob a pat on the back, and headed for the door. SpongeBob sighed, then got to work and tidily up. Well, Pat, he said once the dorm was cleaned, I guess the great satisfaction is a job well done. He locked the door, and two friends headed home. A moment passed, and then the video monitor began to hiss and flicker. An image of Plankton appeared on the screen. He shook his fist and his voice filled the empty restaurant. I'll destroy all of you. And that is it. You know, honestly, pretty good book, I have to say. Definitely, you know, based off of the first movie, but just, you know, written a little different. You know, I really do enjoy this movie it's one of those movies that i really enjoy watching and really like the story of it but i never really you know watch it again because i know like how it goes from beginning to end but uh yeah you know maybe i'll watch it again sometime when i have a chance so yeah thank you all so much for watching today's video you know it's really this was a really good book and my first ever book spongebob book based off of the first movie which is you know Obviously, this one isn't. This one's differently. But having a, a SpongeBob movie, you know, remember, remember, oh, wow, I can't talk. Rem, remember, or merchandise in a way. That's probably easier. 
uh, SpongeBob movie merchandise, you know, like kind of like collectible here, being my first one. Really cool, and I really liked it a lot, you know. Of course, you know, this is, you know, it's very short, you know. It's short, it's simple, easy to read, you know. Good amount of pages, like how many pages does this have? Well, 61, so pretty, pretty long book for you, a young kid, you know, for ages, you know, like five or up or something. But uh, yeah, so thank you all so much for watching. Uh, if you want me to do, you know, more SpongeBob, you know, book videos in the future, then please let me know because I got a whole bunch of them, you know. If you've seen the video where I review my book collection, you could definitely tell I have a, a lot. And it's glad to have, you know, like collectors like this in my collection. So yeah. Thank you all so much for watching today's video. If you like what you see here and you want to see you know, more of it, then be sure to click the subscribe button to get today. Click that bell notification so you'll stay notified when I make new videos or upload, you know, anything new. Uh, you know, click the like button, if you will. You know, leave a comment what you th thought of it. What's your opinion about the first movie or any of the SpongeBob movies? You know, share with your friends, family, or whoever and with that said i'll see all of you people in my next video bye bye